In 1719 there were Comanche tribes living in the northern Great Plains, and there was a young woman named Naru, practicing hunting with her dog, Sari. Along the way, Sari's tail gets caught in a bear trap but Naru managed to free it. At the end of the cliff, Naru saw something in the sky that she believed to be a thunderbird, even though it was actually a predator airplane. When Naru and her mother were making medicine, her mother asked Naru why she wanted to hunt so much. Naru said she did it because people felt she couldn't do it. Then her mother asked Naru to look for one of the ingredients that would be used as medicine. After finishing taking the ingredients she was looking for, Naru was told that there was a tribe member who was taken by a mountain lion. Naru joins a hunting party led by Tabea, Naru's brother. The hunter members refuse to let Naru join but Tabe allows her, because he knows Naru has good tracking skills, and can help to treat wounds. Meanwhile, a predator in the forest killed a snake and skinned it. Then they find a tribe member carried by a mountain lion who is badly injured but still alive. Naru then treated him with the medicine she had taken earlier. Naru suspects there is something more dangerous than a mountain lion, because mountain lions don't let go of their prey unless they are scared away. Because Naru wants to hunt down the mountain lion, Naru wants to go with Tabia, but Tabia refused and asked Naru to stay with the other group, because Naru was needed to watch over the injured members. On the way, Naru saw large footprints and the carcass of a skinned snake. The rest of the tribe thought it was just a bear, but Naru didn't believe it because bears don't skin snakes like that. Then Naru went back to warn her brother, and one of the tribe members also accompanied her. After meeting Tabia, Tabia told Naru that she had been in the lion's den. Tabia then told Naru that it was time for Naru's Kutamiya, or the big hunt for their tribe, which is a rite of passage for hunters. Naru and other members climbed the tree and set the trap, but suddenly the mountain lion pounced on the tribe member. Then the lion climbed the tree and attacked Naru just as she saw the light and heard the roar of the predator. Naru fell and fainted after stabbing the lion's side with a spear. Naru woke up in her house. Tab had brought her home and also killed the mountain lion. The Comanche tribe performed a ceremony for his success and appointed him as the newest war chief. The next day, Naru leaves her home planning to track down the predator. Somewhere, the predator saw a wolf hunting rabbits, then killed the wolf. Naru hunted for food using her small axe tied to a rope. After hunting, Naru found many bison in the field that had been skinned, and in the middle of the forest, Naru was trapped in the living mud. Fortunately she managed to survive using her weapon. On the other hand, the predator was also hunting Naru's trail. On the side of the river, Naru saw a bear eating. When Naru was about to shoot the bear, the bowstring broke which made the bear realize Naru's existence. While fixing the bowstring, Sari tried to distract the bear. When the bear tried to catch her, suddenly the predator came and fought with the bear. The bear put up a pretty good fight and almost beat the predator. Then the predator got up and delivered a blow so hard that it killed the bear. Naru swims with the current and manages to escape from predators. Naru met other tribe members who were looking for her to take home because her brother told them to. Naru told them that there was a predator but no one believed her. Naru fights with one of the tribe members because she doesn't want to be taken home. Naru was tied up. Then the tribe members heard a strange noise and thought it was just an animal. And suddenly he saw a laser pointing at his body and he was shot dead. The tribesmen attacked the predator trying to kill it. Although they failed and instead they had to be killed. Naru managed to escape after untying her bonds. And while she was running, one of her legs was booby trapped and she ran into a group of trapper. Then the trapper beat Naru unconscious. Naru was caught by the trapper and tortured. One of the men from the group asked Naru about predators. The man believes that predator is a creature that hunt and seek the strongest creatures. Naru didn't tell him anything. Naru also realized that it was them who had skinned the bison in the field earlier. And it turned out that Tabia was also caught by the group and slashed Tabia's body. Then Tabia and Naru were used as bait by them. While monitoring the two of them, they were surprised to see that their friends behind them had all been killed. While approaching Naru and Tabia, the predator was trapped in its leg and captured. The group thought that they had caught the predator, but no, they were all killed. Naru and Tabia took advantage of the bear trap to break the ropes that bound them and split up. Naru wanted to release Sari by killing the entire group that was there. While treating the wound on her leg, a man came to Naru and asked for help, and promised to teach her to use a gun instead. I'm freezing cold. 
When the predator appeared, Naru was surprised that the predator could not detect the person she had treated, because the effect of the medicine given by Naru can make the man's body temperature drop and reduce bleeding. But unfortunately the man's foot was stepped on which made him scream and was killed. Tabia came and hit the predator and stabbed it with an iron spear. The predator was then camouflaged so that it could not be seen, Tabia asked Naru to run away, and suddenly the predator appeared behind Tabia and stabbed him. Naru fled to the river and saw the leader of the group of trapper who had previously captured her. Naru then caught him and was going to use him as bait. <coughs> Naru ate medicine so that she would not be detected as a threat. The predator appeared and killed the man. Naru then shot the predator in the back and took the predator's mask. Naru escaped to the place she had prepared to trap the predator. After the predator appeared, Naru immediately attacked it. Even the predator accidentally cut off its own hand. Naru tied a rope around the predator's neck and dropped it into the sludge. When the predator popped out, the predator shot Naru, but doesn't realize that its mask has aimed itself in the head. So the iron spear that was fired was aimed at its head and killed it. <laughs> Naru went home with the predator's head, and the Comanche tribe performed a ceremony and appointed Naru as war chief. The last scene shows a picture that after Naru successfully kills the predator, it turns out that there are more predator planes in the sky. Movie ends. As always, just a reminder that watching the movie is better than just watching a recap. Use movie recaps only to find the plot of the movie you like and then watch the movie. And if you liked this video please subscribe, because by subscribing you are supporting me to make better videos. Have a nice day.